Hi everyone, Lindsay Snyder here with Lindsay's Traveling Closet and today I'm going to show you some ways to style the LuLaRoe um, Julia dress which is a form-fitting pencil dress. Now um, I have on an extra large here as you can see. Um, I'm going to show you some different ways to style this dress. So the first thing I'm going to show you I know some ladies can be scared of the Julia dress so one of the easiest things I found for ladies to kind of um, get comfortable with the Julia dress is to pull I have shorts on underneath um, but let's say you have leggings or a skirt um, or jeans this looks really cute with jeans too you're just gonna pull the Julia up and kind of scrunch it and then you're gonna wear it as a tunic top and I know a lot of ladies feel more comfortable wearing the Julia when it is pulled up like a tunic top I probably shouldn't have picked a striped um, Julia to do this video, but we're just gonna roll with it. That's how I do and then now another thing you can do With the Julia um, the bigger that I go because I will go Extra large and up so like when I do the 2x and the 3x like obviously it gets longer on me the bigger you go um, Now if you want to have it um, a little bit shorter just simply pinch on the side where you want the length at pull it up and over And as long as you aren't going up several sizes, it should stay like this all day where you fold it up at. Um, if you go too big, it's, it's obviously there's going to be, um, it's going to be too loose and it's not going to stay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, something that I really like to do with the Julia is to put the Julia on underneath a skirt. Um, this can work with pretty much any of the LuLaRoe skirts. Um, today I happen to have the Madison um, for you to see. You can do it with the Cassie, the Maxi, Lola, Lucy, um, any, any of the LuLaRoe skirts. So, and the Madison has pockets, so it's kind of just perfect. So as you can see, you can't see the Julia I have shorts on so like the, the Julia is sticking to it but um, once I have it all adjusted you cannot see the Julia dress underneath the skirt um, I like how it holds me in it just I don't know I really like the look with the skirt over um, the Julia so again there's lots of different skirts that you can use for this um, another thing that I like to do with the Julia and this will make it um, up here like a skirt so basically I'm just trying to get you more bang for your buck out of one piece and it's really fun to just kind of find different ways to wear it now you could leave it like this if you wanted to I have a classic tee this is the classic tee you can do this with the Irma the perfect um, you could probably do it with Randy um, but anyways, I have the classic, so you could do this, leave it, you could put a belt, and you could belt it, or what I like to do is just pull it up, <clears throat> and make a knot. So I really like, um... The, the top over the dress um, now the sleeves you can leave them like this I've worn them like this before sometimes I will roll them up too. like if I had a solid um, I would probably roll it up over onto the classic tee so there's the top over the Julia now I know a lot of ladies are scared of the Julia as I said before a simple thing that you can do is put um, a jean vest a jean jacket um, I grabbed a joy vest to show you you can do the kimonos Lindsay Monroe you can do the Sarah cardigan this is a simple way to get you into that Julia dress but to also have you feel just a little bit more comfortable I know some of us um, you know our mom tummies and our our hips and in the back I know I have had a lot of ladies say their back they're self-conscious of this hides it all for you so <clears throat> just kind of 
gives you that little bit of comfort um, if you are not feeling confident um, rocking a Julia. Now another thing that I really like to do, um, I have fun with the Julia as you can see, um, but one thing that I really like to do is take the Carly dress over a Julia and I love um, this peekaboo effect. Now the perfect tee is super cute. Um, when you have the perfect tee over it, just leaving it like flowy, um, that's super cute. I did not grab a perfect tee though to show you. But again, um, take your Carly and I pull mine up. I take quite a bit of fabric because I like it to be a good um, peekaboo. Oh, I think I'm gonna do the rosebud. This is a really big Carly, so there's there's a lot of extra fabric to this one. But, um, so as you can see, I love this, love it. So it's super cute over the Carly. If you don't want this much to show, of course, you know how you do your knot, you can do less of a knot. Just kind of depends what you like, but I love this. I love how this looks, it's so cute. Okay, last two things I'm gonna show you. Um, I probably should have a larger Julia on, but I did not bring one down to change into. So I'm just gonna show you with what I got. You will get the idea and then you can try it on yourself. Okay, so um, again, hair tie trick. Now take, um, you can use this anywhere. Now again, I probably, I mean, I can do it with this one. Um, it's not gonna look as good as it would if I went up a size in the Julia, um, but you can put the hair, hair tie um, pretty much anywhere, wherever you want to get like a ruched look. Um, I'll just show you this for example, like um, there is on the chest. Now um, a really good place to do one is right here on the side. So you'll go inside the dress, grab the fabric on the inside like this, tie it, and then it's gonna give you um, like a ruched look and it kind of helps hide the belly. I will try it with this. Um, like I said, I probably would do this with a size up from this, but I'll just show you just so you can kind of get the idea. See, now the stripes, I probably wouldn't, it doesn't look as good with the stripes. Um, as it does with some of the other ones. But as you can see, it'll give you um, like a ruched look and it will kind of hide that, that tummy area. But again, probably not with stripes and I would go up a size. Um, last but not least, I'm gonna show you a trick with a belt. And again, um, I would go up a size. Um, in the Julia to do this. So take a thin belt. And get you a thin belt, Amazon, eBay. And then you're gonna pull some fabric up into the top of the belt and then what it's gonna do is um, it's you can't really see it as much with this one because it's not um, super it, it's not super loose so it's not as dramatic but what this does is this gives you almost like a top and a bottom like it almost looks like you have like a matching top and bottom but it just kind of gives you a different look um, I do like this look when it's up a size um, but that is also another look so I hope that you found some new ways to style your Julia today and I can't wait to see pictures of you ladies trying this have a great day